In this video, we'll talk about different variable types and how you can use secret type variables to prevent unintentional disclosure of sensitive data. So here you can see I'm in an environment called level up environment and I have two variables, public variable and hidden variable, but neither have a value yet. So let's take a look at this type column. And right now the default type is called default. And if I were to start typing a value for public variable, let's just say foo, it's going to display as plain text. Now that's fine for something that, you know, I might not care about if it's displayed publicly. But now let's say hidden variable is something more sensitive like a password or API key or a token. This is something you might not want displayed in plain text, right? If you're streaming or somebody's looking on your computer, it might be good to have this hidden. So to do this, we hit this drop down here for the type and change it from default to secret. And now you can't see what I'm writing, but I'm going to write foo in both places here as well. And you can see that it won't show up as plain text and I'm not sure what it is. So I'll click save. And now if I do the environment quick look by coming up to this eye icon over here, we can see the same thing that the public variable because it was type default is shown in plain text and the hidden variable that had the secret type is not shown in plain text and we can't tell what it is. Now this is something you can do. You can change the variable type for both environment variables and global variables. But to do this, a user must have editor access on a workspace or the environment. 